Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japandy, I'm going to be talking to you about three things that you need in order to make it in Japan. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandy. In today's episode, guys, I'm going to be doing a video response to Mr. Dave Trippin, who recently put out a video saying that simply wanting to come to Japan is not enough. While I do agree with what most of what Dave said, I felt he could have elaborated on some other points in being able to make it out in Japan. So today we're going to be talking about the three things, the three Ps, as it were. We're going to be talking about passion, persistence, and planning. So the first P, passion, the want, the desire, the passion, as it were, to come out to Japan, I think is the most important of these elements. But you definitely need the other two in order to make it long term. But the passion is where it all starts. In this case, move out to Japan. So whether that's through stuff like anime, manga, the different landmarks and stuff in Japan, simply wanting to experience a culture vastly different from your own, whatever your reason may be, and I'm not judging you on either of those reasons because I have my own reasons for wanting to come to Japan, so who am I to judge, right? But you definitely have to have that passion to want to come to Japan for whatever reason. Second thing is persistence, and I think that this is a very crucial element because simply wanting to go to Japan, as Dave pointed out, isn't enough gotta have a little more meat to the bone and persistence definitely is that meat. Since I announced that I was accepted into Lakeland University of Japan a couple months back, I've been getting a lot of messages, emails and things like that saying, oh congrats Andy on making it out to Japan. You know, you finally did it man. After four years of trying out in America, you finally are able to come back to Japan. Some comments are like, well, you know, it's it's not gonna happen for me because of XYZ reason. And I feel really bad for those guys because they all have their own uh, situation. But persistence is what carried me through a lot of hard times. I was always passionate about wanting to come out to Japan ever since I was a little kid. And my cousins were out in Yokosuka, as I've said in many of my countless Japan related videos, but it was the persistence that allowed me to move forward and to carry through with being able to get out to Japan because there was a lot of moments, as you guys know, that I didn't think I was gonna make it out to Japan because I didn't have the money, my GPA was too low, I only had so much left on the GI Bill, X, Y, Z, whatever reason for me not being able to make it out to Japan, but it was my passion for wanting to make it happen. It was my persistence in finding different ways to make it happen and then following through in order to make it happen with the third and final P, which is planning. And that's the one that Dave covered the most in his video, but planning is definitely very crucial because you could be passionate and persistent all you want, but if you don't have something for which to forward all that passion and persistence into, then you can't make it to Japan. Like you can't even buy a plane ticket, like, <laughs> you know? So my planning was how I was able to get accepted into a university out in Tokyo, Japan, because I had a ja plan. See what I did there? <laughs> So my plan was to see the uh, situation as it was. Okay, you didn't have a good run of it at school last time. Your GPA was banged to shit because of it. You only have so much money and you're closing in on 34 years old. 34 next week, by the way. <laughs> on a day that will live in infamy. But, that being said, I assessed the situation and realized what I needed to do in order to make Japan happen. I was passionate about making it happen, never lost the passion. I was persistent in following through with making Japan happen, and I had a plan in making it happen. And that plan was to build my GPA back up. Once my GPA was built back up, then apply to a university out in Japan that I could use my GI Bill with, and then once accepted, save up enough money for me to afford the plane ticket and the nest egg 
and all these different uh, other resources like camera, for instance, uh, my laptop over there and stuff like that. So once I land in Japan, I can make some muns, whether it's making videos or making videos for somebody else. So question of the day, if you're looking to come out to Japan, which of the three Ps do you need to work on the most? Let me know in the comments down below in the boobie boobs. And with that said guys, this is the Andy San, sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.